So I hope I've inspired you to try applique, whether it's by machine or it's by hand. I want to show you some of the quilts that are from my machine and hand applique book, and I think you'll like them. This particular quilt was inspired by Valerie Wells' um, wonderful fabric collection. Jean, her mom, is a really smart cookie because whenever she sees me, she gives me a bundle of her fabrics, and they always end up in one of my quilts. I think these ice cream cones are just absolutely adorable. These were done by machine. In fact, I think most of them in the machine and hand applique book were done by machine, if you want to get right down to it. One of my favorite toys growing up was color forms, and it would be like a Barbie background, and you put Barbie on it, and then you could put different outfits on her and stuff like that. Well, when we went on a cruise, I thought it would be fun. It was a fall cruise to do a kind of color form type of feature, and we couldn't use that word in the book because um, of copyright. So we called this project Mix and Match, and what you can do is you can pick the little things that I've drawn and then put together your own little scene. And in fact, this was done by Hand Blanket Stitch. Here's my little cat in my little fall house in stars and candy corns. And then here is uh, my bird and my pumpkin. And again, stars and circles. So this is really fun. I put them up seasonally. Again, Hand Blanket Stitch. Let's take a look and see how funky my stitches are up close. I think my Bernina could do a better job. Next, this quilt was originally for uh, American Patchwork and Quilting, their fall issue. They have me do periodically quilts that go out in shrink wrap bags to stores that are not necessarily quilterly oriented. And a couple of the quilts ended up in the book too, so let's take a look at this one. I want to say that I love putting piecing and applique together. I think it's really cool looking. So here it is. You may have seen it in the magazine. It's a fairly simple um, quilt to do. I just think the outside applique adds so much to it. Imagine if it was just the broken dishes. Boring. And I don't even think I bought one hunk of new fabric for this. I think I just went to my wonderful stash and just started pulling and having fun with it. This quilt was also in American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine. I think it was one of those shrink wrap things. Again, I'm not sure exactly, but this was super easy to do and it got me playing with circles. And again, there's a piecing involved. I love it when you mix it together. Paula Reed quilted this and the one prior. She did a really nice job. Let's see if we can get down and see some of the feathers on the border. If you haven't been in my classroom yet and gone to how to draw quilting designs, you might want to take a peek at that because learning how to be able to draw your own designs and motifs is just like life changing. You can do whatever you want on your quilts then. Last but not least, in most of my books I have some sort of classroom project that you can do and this quilt was originally designed for one of the cruises the um, Baltic Sea one and I thought well actually that was almost the kickoff of this book I thought I'm going to teach this little class what handwork you can have in the United States and this was our little class sampler so if you want to try your hand at applique and try the different techniques that I've shown you through these series of workshops this would be the perfect venue to do it because it has stems it's got points it's got, you know everything that you need to handle when you are applicating. It's not very big in size and it's totally doable. I hope you've enjoyed these series of workshops and again I've just just scratch the surface of what is possible. I want to encourage you if you haven't gotten on board with Sue's BOM to get on board. We still have some kits available and um, it's very, very if you if you just want to go the easiest way to visible stuff, if you want to challenge yourself, try to learn needle turn. She has taken us through the series of months starting with a very simple one and in fact this particular quilt there aren't any blocks in there that are going to put you under. So, Or you can go get my book and you can work from that but I just want you to get busy applicating and if you have said well I don't do applique it's the A word now it's going to be the apple of your eye word.